Hello, my dear ones. I have a an Adventures in Thrifting haul to share with you. So I'm going to go pretty fast because I ran into the thrift store and uh, they just had a ton of stuff today. So I grabbed a bunch of things. Um, this was a total score. Okay, this is a Beadalon um, flat round uh, vinyl um, jaw pliers. Okay. And uh, these are great for jewelry making. And I actually was pricing them at the store and they were so expensive I didn't buy them. And they were at the thrift store for $1.99. So just total score. Um, it was the only one there and uh, I was just so happy to get that. So I got that. Um, for 99 cents I picked up some of these little um, wood skewers. Okay. And those are nice to have for doing different wands and everything. Um, I found this cute little love sign. Valentine's Day is coming, and I thought this would be really cute to use for my home decor. This was $2.99, and it's it's a really nice thick wood um, thing, and I love the metal uh, around the edges of this. So I grabbed that. Um, oops, okay. I grabbed this stamp for $3.99, and this is a beautiful vintage Santa image. And I just love his little face. He's so sweet. Um, this says, Made in the USA. It's a impressive stamps stamp. And it's called Jumbo Happy Santa J1951. And I don't, does it have, I don't think it has a year on it. So I'm not sure what the year is. If anybody knows anything about this stamp, I love learning about the origins of the stamps. Um, a lot of times, people that have been around stamping uh, longer than me, um, know more or if they're involved in product development and stuff sometimes they know more but um I love finding out about stamps and this is not one that I'm familiar with and I just thought it was so cute so what a deal for four bucks because you know it would cost way more than that to get a big stamp like this so um I've priced these in the store as high as fifteen dollars fourteen ninety nine you know, so that was a find. Um, I found this thing of jump rings, seven millimeter jump rings for 99 cents. So that was a score. Um, these were uh, a bunch of laces that were there. I haven't opened these, but they're like little, let me see, I need a scissor because I can't even open it. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm just gonna cut it from the bottom here. Just cut that part off. Okay, so they are, little appliques, and I was thinking that I should be able to use these in my card making. Um, I also thought of UD, D, who is Elegant Embellishments, and Tammy. A lot of the times I see them do really unique things with lace and uh, when they're decorating boxes and things like that. Um, so there's a bunch of these in here, like a whole bunch of them. And then there's also this pink trim that's really pretty. So, um, I got that, and that'll be really great. I'll probably put that away until springtime. I'll put it with all my spring trims. And then they also had this one. Let's see if I can get this one open. Oh my gosh, I don't know what they're gluing these bags with nowadays, but uh, these ones just will not open. Ugh. So this is a, um, a ton of a really nice black trim. And this has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's black flowers and stuff. And I love cotton laces because they're really easy to glue to your cards. And um, so this is just a really nice trim to have. Black is a really great color to use as a background and an accent. And there is so much of this, you guys. I don't know how much there is, but there is a ton. So this was a really good deal, um, a really good find especially because it's getting harder to find cotton laces, you know, for inexpensive. Um, then I found two fabrics um, that I really liked. This one is a little vintage uh, tree and star, and it has this um, kind of like a block pattern to it. So this was $2.99, and it is a big piece of fabric, so a lot of fabric. I might even use this as a tree skirt around my little tree in the basement this year. So I got that. I also liked this one and thought this would make a beautiful tree skirt for a lumber um, or just a more uh, outdoorsy vintage style animal tree or, you know, just um, outdoorsy ornaments. So this was $3.99 and this is a big, huge piece of fabric also. 
And uh, I also thought about making some Christmas ornaments with the, these two fabrics. So I'll have to see what I end up doing with it. A lot of times I buy things and I put them away and uh, I don't necessarily use them. Christmas is so close now. I'm not sure if I'll use them this year, but um, these were just both really beautiful, clean, new fabrics. So that was a good deal. Um, the other thing I found, oh, I hope I don't spill these, but I found some bags of buttons, which you don't see these, I, at least at my thrift stores, I don't see these very often anymore. And uh, I, if you guys are interested, I will open these and go through the buttons with you. So let me know if you're interested in that. Um, this just has a ton of buttons and button cards in it. Um, so I got that one, because I'm always running out of buttons. I use so many buttons for my tags and stuff. And then I also got this one, and this one just also has a ton of button cards. And then it also has some little, um, like, I'm not even sure what these are, like little boxes or something. I don't know. But anyway, if you want me to open those on a separate video, let me know. But um, I was very excited to find those. And then this other one I am going to open with you because um, this one had some neat things in it. Um, I love these little bags where the, you get a bag for, you know, however much. This one was $2.99, just to kind of give you some idea. But I'm going to cut into this one, and I'll show you what this one has inside of it. Because it's not just buttons. Um, it has this sachet of lavender. Oh, wow, and it still smells good, too. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> lavender can make me sneeze sometimes. Um, these are some cord wraps. So these are used to, like, wrap your cords, and then they're, they're out of the way. Um, and so these are really nice to have. And I've priced these online but haven't bought them. So, um, <laughs> so um, I was excited to see those in there, and there were three of them. And then uh, the reason I bought the bag, I'll show you, was for this. Um, these were in there, and these are, um, I'll show you, these are beads that have been crocheted around, okay? So that is a beautiful find. These are very expensive. And uh, there's also a little uh, wicker bead in here, but it's a whole bag of the these um, crocheted beads. So that was why I bought the bag for $2.99. Al these alone are more than worth that price. Um, and then you have the cord things. Uh, what is this? This, I think, is a trimmer. This is a cutter. These are great to use for wrapping paper, so that'll come in handy. And, uh, and then here's some pinbacks. Um, look at how much pinbacks used to be back in the day. <laughs> ben Franklin Crafts, 29 cents. Oh my goodness, I haven't been out to Ben Franklin in years. Um, and then there's a buckle piece in here. I don't know if I'll end up using that. Um, this is probably also something you could use to contain cords. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is. If anybody knows, I don't know. And then, Anna, you'll appreciate this. This was in there too. And this is a Dritz tracing wheel. Okay, so this is what Anna has shown you guys that she uses to trace on her cards. I have several of these in my collection from my grandmother. And um, I think one from, I forget where, what all. I've got like a plastic one from the thrift store. I've got a, several of them, but this is another one I can add to my stash. And this one has a really nice um, handle. So I'm excited to try this one out and see how it does. Um, so that was my $2.99 little bag. <laughs> and totally worth it. Um, just for the crocheted buttons alone, which I or the crocheted beads. So I was so excited to see these. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use them on, but um, they'd be beautiful on any project I wanted to add them to. Um, let's see. And then I got this little tray for $1.99, and I just thought this was so cute. It says, Santa, these treats are for you with love. And I love this little mouse image. And uh, he's got a, a ginger cookie here uh, with a Santa hat on and Santa beard and uh, little treats and things all around. So I just thought this was really sweet. And um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I might just set it out to or put it in my room on one of my shelves to look at because it's so cute. Um, and then I found one other thing. There were a couple of these ornaments. Um, and uh, these were like an old world Santa. And I just thought these were so cute. So they had two of them and I got them both. And uh, if anybody collects Santas, let me know. But 
um, I just thought this was so pretty and it's all glittered up. So you don't see things like this and these were so inexpensive I just decided to get them. Um, and there were two of them and they were still in the boxes and they are from Kirkland's it says. So yeah. So I got two of those. And uh, the only other thing I got, I got this basket and some yarn. So, oops, sorry you guys. I got this beautiful wicker basket and this was, I think, $2.99, $3.99. And it is a big basket and it's perfect to put my crochet projects in. And uh, the day I was there, they, they had some yarn that I wanted too. And I got this one for making things um, for Christmas because it's a beautiful, it's called Alpine Strawberry. And it was just so pretty, I had to get it. It was $2.99, and you can't even buy yarn for $2.99 anymore. It's called Petals Socks, and it's uh, fine merino, superwash, angora, and nylon. So a really good yarn. Um, so I got that. Um, I got this one too, and I thought this was just a really neat texture to this yarn. And this will be fun for projects of all kinds. And uh, it's a Bernat, um, Bernay Pipsqueak. Okay, and this was $2.99, so, and uh, just so cushy and soft, so I got that one, and then I also found two more of these, and this type of uh, yarn, which is really fun for making scarves for your Christmas ornaments and stuff, um, is very expensive, uh, like here you can see the price back in the day was $6.25, but it's even more than that now. And uh, so these were two for five, so that was a good deal. So that was everything I got at the thrift store, you guys. Um, if you want to see, uh, if you want me to go through the buttons, if any of you are interested in seeing what are in these two button sacks, let me know, and I will come back on and do a separate video for this because I'm already at 12 minutes, and uh, I just uh, don't want to take up too much time on the video. So thank you guys for watching. Um, this is, again, my favorite time of the year to go thrifting. Uh, it's always fun to see what you can find in the thrift stores. I even found a couple little jars like this to put the buttons in that I just showed you. Some of the ones that are on the cards, I'll leave on the cards, but the loose buttons can go in these jars, and I just love the red gingham tops. So these were there, too, for really cheap. So And these are from a jelly that you can buy um, but we don't always have the jelly in our area. So when I see the jars at the thrift store, it's fun to get them. So that's it. Everybody have a lovely, lovely week. Um, and I will be back with you again soon. Bye now.